I strongly believe that if you care for your hair well, you will have healthy hair for life. And this is the basic step that we are going to discuss today, how we are going to have healthy hair. Now, the first thing is um, what I strongly believe and what I always encourage my clients to do is never ever shampoo your hair daily. Why? The more you shampoo your hair, the more you will strip off oils from your scalp. You need the, your own natural healthy oils on your scalp to have healthy hair. So rule number one is never ever wash your hair daily. You only need to shampoo your hair two to three times a week. It is more than sufficient. The more you shampoo your hair, the more natural oils you will strip off your hair. Now, rule number two. So rule number one is not to shampoo your hair daily. Why? The more you shampoo your hair, the more you strip off your natural oils. You only need to shampoo your hair at least two to three times a week. It's more than sufficient. Rule number two, when you shampoo your hair, never ever use hot water. Now, I for one personally enjoy hot water showers. I mean, when you when you sham when you in when you go into a hot water shower, your whole body feels very nice, very relaxed. But you never shampoo your hair using hot water. Why? What happens when you use hot water? It will damage your hair. It will cause your hair to become very dry. So when you shampoo your hair, always use lukewarm water. Rule number two, when you shampoo your hair, always use lukewarm water. After you have shampooed your hair, you have conditioned your hair, then you always use cold water for the final rinse. See, what happens when you use warm water to shampoo your hair? Your cuticles all open up and moisture can seep in. So after you're done with shampooing, after you're done with your conditioner, the final rinse always use cold water. What happens when you use cold water? Cold water closes the cuticles of the hair. So all your moisture is retained. That's how you can have healthy hair. So rule number one again, never shampoo your hair daily. Rule number two, you always use lukewarm water when you shampoo in condition. And after you've done that, you always, your final rinse, you use cold water. Now, rule number three, when you are use, when you are shampooing your hair, you always massage your scalp using your finger pads. Finger pads, you massage the scalp of your hair. Never use your nails. Now, a lot of people tend to massage your hair with using your nails. What happens when you rub your scalp with your nails? You damage the root, the root cuticle of your hair follicle. Constant scratching your scalp will also damage your scalp and sometimes you see you don't even know that you've damaged your scalp because your head is full of hair so you can't usually see. Never ever scratch your scalp when you are shampooing. Always use your finger pads and gently massage. When you are shampooing your hair, it's a me time. You should enjoy going into the bathroom and shampooing your hair. When you massage using your finger pads, what happens is you're increasing blood flow on your scalp. When there is rich blood flow on your scalp, all the nutrients will reach your follicles. You will have healthy hair. Oxygen reaches better. Food and nutrients reaches your follicles better. Blood. When you shampoo your hair, do not shampoo your hair daily, only twice or thrice a week. The more you shampoo your hair, the more you remove natural oils, the more unhealthy your hair will be. Rule number two is that always avoid hot water. Only use lukewarm water. Lukewarm water will open the cuticles of your hair. Will open the cuticles of your hair and what happens is the moisture can seep in and then with cold water you close back the cuticles. Rule number three is always use gentle pressure. Only the finger pads, never the fingernails because you can scratch and cause inflammation on your scalp. 
and with your fingernails you will damage the root follicle of your scalp so what happens you get hair fall now rule number four it will be very interesting pick the correct shampoo how do you pick a correct shampoo let's say for example if you have oily scalp then you are picking a shampoo that is voluminizing balancing or purifying you want to avoid shampoos that are moisturizing because your scalp is already oily on the other hand if your scalp is dry then you are going to pick moisturizing shampoo but if your hair is very thin then you want to pick gentle based baby shampoos now for oily scalp if you find that oh i cannot i must wash my hair every day please remember the more you shampoo the hair the oilier your scalp is going to be so when you shampoo your hair for oily scalp double cleansing will be good which means is you pour a little bit of shampoo shampoo your hair you'll find that you will not get a lot of leather during your first shampoo rinse it off and after that what you do you shampoo your hair the second round and then you condition now if you're looking for natural based shampoos there are a lot of home printers selling natural based shampoos as well what you find is sometimes when you're using a lot of chemical based shampoos and when you switch to a natural based shampoo you also find at times your hair fall becomes lesser or your hair stops falling reason being is when you, you when you were using the chemical based shampoo earlier there was a trigger factor which irritated your scalp whereas the natural based shampoo does not irritate your scalp so you will see results pretty fast now rule number five never ever apply conditioner onto your scalp this is a definite no-no doesn't matter what brand what conditioner you are using conditioners are never never to be used onto your scalp why what you should do is always when you apply conditioner two to three or even five centimeters away from your hair now what do you do is for those who have very dry hair you can use a cling wrap and wrap your hair after you have shampooed so you can spend the time you know scrubbing your body rinsing your body and then you can rinse off your hair for those with oily hair if you do condition yes away from the scalp now if you have dry scalp don't apply conditioner on your scalp always use cold pressed virgin oils now you either can use it overnight but if you have hair fall i don't suggest you use overnight you just apply 15 minutes before you shampoo your hair because you have a dry scalp and then you shampoo in condition as per normal rule number six how you when you towel dry your hair yeah i got the towel here now most of us when you towel dry your hair just press gently all right you want to squeeze off as much uh water away from your hair never take the towel and rub why <laughs> your hair strands are already plump with water when you rub what happens is the hair strand starts breaking then you will realize that your hair your, you have fly away hair which means that your hair is not of the same length why not necessary because of new hair growth it can be because your vigorous rubbing of the towel your hair strands start breaking now there's also also a lot of misconception that they say hair dryers are bad no hair dryers are not bad it is how you use a hair dryer now if you want to dry your hair you can always use an air dryer meaning for your hair dryer you do not on the heat you just use air you just use air and you blow your hair to dry now a no no is never ever cover your hair when it's damp never ever tie your hair when it's damp when your hair is damp and you tie your hair a lot of my clients tell me oh budget you know the weather is so hot it is so nice to tie your wet hair because you feel so nice and cold that is why you get issue of dandruff all the moisture is being retained inside your scalp it also is a breeding ground for all these fungal infections so never ever tie your hair or wear a scarf when your hair is wet you can always use a blow dryer now the rule assuming that this is a blow dryer okay i'm using my hand my handphone is a blow dryer 
make sure the the distance of the blow dryer with your hair is about 10 to 15 centimeters away when you are blow drying your hair. Now the other way you can dry your hair is you can sit in front of a fan or you can stand for a few minutes under the morning sun. The benefit is that the morning sun will build, will give you vitamin D and vitamin D is very crucial for hair growth to have healthy hair. So this in summary are the six basic steps for you to practice at home to have healthy hair for life. I always believe that if your foundation is right, it is very easy for you to have healthy hair. There is, don't overthink so much. Now, if you ask me how I shampoo my hair, this is, to me, when I shampoo my hair, it's like a ritual. I personally only shampoo my hair twice a week. I only do three times a week if, I, if I'm very, very sweaty or I've done some, uh, uh, some uh, exercise that make me sweat a lot. But even then, I would prefer just to air dry my hair. I let my sweat dry because overwashing your hair will cause your hair to become excessively dry. There is no such thing as, oh, when you wash your hair daily, your hair becomes healthier. No, you do not have to wash your hair or shampoo your hair daily. So coming back to my ritual, I like to have a soy candle burning in my bathroom because the scent is very calming. And I make sure I take time to massage my scalp and I massage my scalp with my finger, finger pads. So once you do that, you find your circulation also increases. Your heart calms down. Because you know, at the moment we are living in an environment that is so stressful. So you can actually have a relaxing routine in your own bathroom. Size doesn't matter. <laughs> Make sure that you have your fingers, give yourself a nice gentle massage and then if your hair is dry, you just cling wrap after you apply your conditioner. Wait for a few minutes and rinse off and follow the suggestions that I have given you to dry your hair. So that is the summary for today. I like to keep it short and sweet. If you have any questions, please do ask. If there is any particular topic that you would like me to touch upon or speak upon, do please uh, WhatsApp me. Or message me and that will be the topic uh, for next week. You have been a wonderful